Uh, immuno-oncology is very rapidly uh, um, developing into a huge component of how we treat cancer. Uh, and I predict that in the next five years or so, it will probably displace chemotherapy as the most commonly used systemic therapy. So within that, uh, we have to have a good understanding of the toxicities and the safety profiles of the, the, the new treatments. And in particular, the, the unusual and different side effects we encounter that we're not used to from, from traditional treatments. So pretty key, I would say. The concept of immuno-oncology is to exploit the patient's own immune system to lead to anti-cancer benefit, uh, whereas chemotherapy or cytotoxic treatment would literally poison uh, cells, and you'd hope that it poison more cancer cells than normal cells. Uh, so this is a completely new way of treating cancer, which seems to work very well in a large number of cancers but the side effects arise from overstimulation of the immune system leading to autoimmune uh, problems. Definitely with our experience with apilimumab uh, in melanoma, we know that about 20% of patients exposed to treatment have a very good uh, long-term survival, so 10-year survival is 20%. Uh, so whether or not that means these patients are cured, I think uh, we're still a bit uneasy to, to talk in terms of cure but what I call uh, ultra long-term remission is certainly possible. Uh, and therefore, survivorship issues, what are the long-term consequences of, of, of living beyond the treatment and the, and the cancer? Uh, but yeah, we're, we're certainly in that era now and expect it to improve as time goes on because treatment's going to get better.